Welcome to World's Best Videos. We've compiled a list of events in which butlers did horrifying acts. Let's get into it. C. Sarah, the butler spy who sold secrets to the Nazis during World War II. He went by the codename C. Sarah, whose real name was Eliza Banza, who was a valet for the British ambassador to Turkey, Sir Hugh. Banza revealed that he had fed British intelligence to the enemy. Some feared that he had given the Germans documents relating to D-Day. Sources from declassified CIA documents indicate that the Germans never acted on any of the information that Cicero provided. Elisa wrote his story down in the book I Was Cicero. The book was adapted to a mostly fictional movie titled Five Fingers. Eugene Butler A small and safe town, a quiet life on a farm in North Dakota. What could possibly go wrong? Until this day, investigations still cannot tell us what exactly happened on the farm of Eugene Butler. Butler was a reclusive man who slowly sank into the madness before being sent to an asylum. He claimed that people were coming after him, but it was not until his death that all the bodies were found. A workman revealed six corpses in Eugene's basement. Each of the bodies exhibits signs of a blow to the back of the head. The bodies were never identified. Now the mystery remains today as to who the victims were. One theory is that the victims were housekeepers who had become too expensive to pay, or as he always thought, farmhands who were planning to kill him. Paolo Gabriel Paolo Gabriel was a Pope Benedict's personal butler. He had been charged with betraying the Pope and the Vatican, resulting in an 18-month prison sentence. In 2012, news reports indicate that Paolo Gabriel, who had access to the Pope more than anyone else, took advantage of the situation. And under the nose of the Pope and others who worked alongside Gabriel, he managed to photocopy over a thousand personal documents. Paolo also managed to pass on copies of important and personal documents to an Italian journalist. Gabriel was tried, convicted, and imprisoned. The Pope gave him an early pardon, and he was returned to live with his family and seek work. Well, that concludes the video, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, remember to smack that like button. Let us know in the comment section below what you'd like to see next. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe to keep up with the world's best videos.